Frankencran by Michael Hall. This picture book has been canceled. I can't believe it's been canceled. It was my first starring role. It was my first supporting role. Help! Someone just turned the page. Take my hand. Hey, someone must be reading this book. You're right. I'll talk to them. Um, hello out there? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this picture book has been canceled. Tell them what happened. Tell them about the scribble. And don't leave anything out. Well, let's see. In the beginning, everything went according to plan. The crayons were in their costumes, and I was getting them into position. This should be fun. I'm so excited. I hope I don't forget my lines. Frankencran, go to page 22. That's where you'll make your dramatic entrance, just like we practice. Right, got it. Page 22. The story began with the frightened townspeople talking about a horrible monster lurking in the town. There's a horrible monster lurking in our town. Oh no, I'm so scared. Suddenly, without warning, the lights went out. Screech! Hey! What is it, Amber? What is it? Someone, turn on the lights, please. It was a scribble. It went all the way across two pages. It's horrifying, hideous, horrendous. A scribble can ruin a picture book. Don't worry, we'll take a short break while the crew cleans the page. But the scribble got bigger. I think we made it worse. It's absolutely awful, appalling, atrocious. It's making a mess of our story. Cast members, we need more help. Even four crayons scrubbing hard couldn't stop the scribble. That didn't go well either. It's distressing, disturbing, dreadful. We need more help. Hurry, please. But the scribble was out of control. It's alive. We've created a monster. Let's get out of here. The story was falling apart. And that's when the really terrible news arrived. Official notice. We regret to tell you that we've decided to cancel this picture book. How come? We're almost halfway done. Official notice. Because, one, no one likes the scribble thing. Two, the characters are gone. Three, isn't there supposed to be a mad scientist in this story? Yes, but I dropped the mad scientist because he was difficult. Official notice. We know you're disappointed, but we ask that you leave this book right away. What could I do? I turned out the lights and left. And that's what happened. Whoa, hang on, that's not the whole story. You know what we're talking about. How you forgot to tell us? Okay, okay, let's see. Well, I was pretty upset at the time. And in my sadness, I forgot to tell, tell Frankencran so, on page 22, Roar! Wait, where are the frightened townspeople? Isn't this page 22? I'll turn on the lights. Uh, 
Hello? Who are you? I don't think it can talk. Let's give it a mouth. Hop off. Hello? I need to get moving. I'm late for an important event. Can you help me? Of course we can. It's what crayons do. I'll fix you up in a flash. Thank you. What a beautiful scribble. I wish it didn't have to go. Come on, let's find the frightened townspeople. Eventually, I came back to look for the costumes and found Frankencrane eating oranges in the green room. Where is everybody? I have terrible news. We have a few things to tell you too. I guess that's about it. We'll probably never know who scribbled on the page to begin with, but at least this has been a learning experience for all of us. Right. Lesson one. Don't forget to tell everyone when a story has been canceled. Lesson number two. Don't try to unscribble a scribble by scribbling on it. Lesson number three. Even a messy scribble can be a lovely thing. Goodbye. Screech! Wait. Don't forget lesson number four. Never drop the mad scientist from the Frankenstein story. Official notice. Mwahahaha. <laughs>